So if you're an NBA 2K fan, which I know most of you guys are, this should make you happy. NBA 2K15 is officially confirmed, not only for the Xbox One and the PS4, but also for the 360, the PS3, and the PC. Now with that being said, you know, I got a great discussion, I want to talk to you guys about this, because we know that the game is coming out for both consoles, right? Current gen, next gen if you will, or you want to call it last gen, I don't know what you guys want to call it, but we got the next gen versions, the PS4, the Xbox One, and then of course we got the current gen, not the current anymore, but the last gen if you will, the 360 and the PS3, because we're all, we're all current gen with the next gen systems if you will, a lot of us are, but anyways, this is really, really important to a lot of people because I know a lot of people, you know, can't afford or just don't have the ability to get the next gen, the PS4, and the Xbox One systems yet. So they're still repping, you know, the 360 version and the PS3 version, which is perfectly fine. I mean, I just played 360 yesterday. I played some Halo and I had so much fun. So, you know, that's perfectly fine. And I'm sure 2K understands that, which is why they're, you know, making the game for the old systems too. And I really respect that. I mean, you guys should too, because this, this is a generation where we're all next gen now. But, you know, they really are supporting the 360, the PS3. So much respect to that. But like I said in my previous videos, wow, how did you make that? I honestly do believe that they're going to be completely different games. And we saw this before because 2K14 graphics, look, they were, they were amazing. But they were really similar to 2K13. They're maxed out. The 360, the PS4, the PS3, I mean, they're maxed out in terms of graphics. I mean, gameplay could obviously change. My team could obviously change. Game modes could obviously change. And when we're talking about cutscenes like we've seen on 2K14, PS4, Xbox One, and stuff like that, that's definitely coming down on the next-gen systems, okay? So, you know, I, I know they're both going to be great, but of course, if you had to pick one, you got to go with next-gen, but I really am happy. So, you know, I have a lot of questions for you guys, so are you guys going to, honestly, for me, I'm probably going to get the game for both, just so I can compare them. Maybe they're going to have different, like Path of Greatness was on the Xbox uh, 360 PS3 version. I don't think it was on the uh, PS4 version, so, you know, I would get it just for that. I know they're going to have some differences, but they're definitely going to have a lot of similarities, too. So I will be getting the game for both consoles to make your life easier, just to review if you're deciding between the two. It shouldn't be too hard, but just if you want to see the differences, like, I know a lot of people who have the PS4, they're not going to get the PS3 360 version, right? You're going to get next gen, so I'll be getting both versions for you guys and doing my compare and my contrast like we used to do in middle school. Those two circles with the circle in the middle, all that crap, you know what I'm talking about, right? Ooh, all the deeper with that dunk! But anyway, Team STG, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Of course, it's coming out for the PC too. So, what do you guys think about the game coming out for all the systems? Are you guys excited? Do you guys think they're going to be different? If you do think they're going to be different, how so? Thumbs this video up if you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace.